All right, hey folks, uh, this is uh, Fat Rat here. Uh, we're at the uh, Galilee Landing Dock. Uh, this is announcing an upcoming uh, protest. Um, I'll be doing some videos of the area so everybody knows where you're at when you get here. Friday, this Friday coming up, the 12th, at 3 o'clock. We're meeting at 2.30 right here at this, uh, this area. It's Galilee, 200 Napa Street, Sausalito, California. 200 Napa Street, we're organizing. Um, one of the marinas here is uh, closing out their dinghy dock to uh, people who live out in the bay. It's causing a, a tremendous hard, it's going to cause tremendous hardships uh, to veterans and disabled people to live out on the water. It's uh, actually going to be endangering their safety. This is not a good thing. This guy was, these, these marinas were put in here originally. They had caveats that they were supposed to maintain access for public for public access this guy's got the definite public access down pretty tight to where what normally has been and what was the attention the original attention he's circumventing the original attention of the original caveats that were placed when the marinas were put in place and he's doing it because he's got lawyers and money he's been on an ongoing campaign for six months this guy hates the people that live in the anchor outs for the reason he says they're smelly well when you live on a sailboat and you're going to take a shower once a week you might smell a little bit he also says they're using drugs. They're drug dealers and drug addicts. Well, some of them are, but also on land. Most of them out there, there's a lot of them out here on the grain land that are meth heads and users of all kinds of different drugs. It's not just on the water in the anchor. We have a few, and we uh, generally try to run them out or, or keep them at a minimum and keep them in control. You know what I mean? But the bottom line is, is this. This is coming up. He doesn't like the fact that people have to come and go at different hours. Somebody's got a job, starts at 2 o'clock in the morning, and they got to come in. It's not a matter of a choice here. So we're not allowed to have norm hours of our own. So I guess freedom of uh, of, uh, uh, access is no longer is, is controlled by the dock or something like that. It's, again, this is a, tyr a tyrannical act here. Um, and there was another reason. I'm trying to remember what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, the freeloaders. We're all freeloaders. Well, guess what? I'm retired. I have I have my own income. Most people out here either work or have their own income if they're if they're retired or disabled. They all have income. We all spend money in this town, and there's ways around us that don't involve being a tyrannical uh, individual. And this guy's trying to be a tyrant and trying to drive the anchor outside of the water. What he fails to realize is if all these boats are driven out of this bay, Sausalito loses their tourism incentive. Because you can eat fish dinner in San Francisco. You ain't got it, but you come to Sausalito to see the harbor with the boats in it while you eat your fish dinner. Because there ain't no boats in the San Francisco Bay off the beach, off the, in the bay where you can see them when you're eating your dinner. Just ain't happening. So, you want your ambience? You come to Sausalito, eat your dinner. If you don't want your ambience, you stay in San Francisco. My, my, my. So, the question is, folks, are we going to let this one guy destroy the tourism value, destroy this and make the anchor outs leave, supposedly, and make it miserable and endanger people's lives and make it harder for people, or are we going to sit there and have a protest? So, remember, August 12th, 2.30 in the afternoon, be here at the Galilee Dock, 300 Napa Street. I'm going to go ahead and try and flip this camera around. No, I can't. I'm trying to flip the camera around, folks. But anyway, we're at 200 Napa Street. This is a call to action. Anybody who wants to come out here, the police will probably be here trying to harass, to violate our First Amendment rights to protest. You know that. So First Amendment auditors, it'll be some good action for you folks too. So bring it on. We want everybody and everybody to see this. We want this made public because this is the ongoing effect of years of this. This persecution has been going on since 1945. It's time to quit. Thank you, and be there. We love you. Fat rat.